including this. It might be cars, could be fitness, could be fashion, but whatever your passion, just imagine being able to turn it into your job. Spending your day doing what you love most is something that most of us can only dream of, but for artist Amina Snowden, her love for animals and talent for art led her to start bringing animals to life on canvas, whether that be floppy ears, waggy tails... And basically, that's her speciality. And next Saturday, uh, she's bringing them right here to uh, Northampton. And uh, she joins me now. Good morning, Amina. Hi there. Hello there. Well, obviously, your speciality is a lot more than floppy ears and wacky tails, which is what it made is, it yeah. sound like. But you, you obviously uh, do uh, wildlife and animals, which I absolutely love. So tell us about this exhibit. Is, is that obviously what's going to be showing? Yes, so um, I'll be bringing along my full range of original paintings. I think there's maybe about uh, 13. And then I'll also be bringing along my um, limited edition prints. Um, I've just released some brand new designs in February. So it includes animals like cockerels, foxes, um, that sort of thing. So it's uh, so far it's been a really great success. So I'm really hoping the um, show will do well as well. Because uh, how did this all start for you? I mean, when you first got interested in art, was wildlife something that you automatically wanted to paint or draw? Yeah, I've just always loved art since I was seven years old. Um, I had a art competition mm. at my school, so uh, pupils in my year were asked to paint a picture of whatever, what, whatever they liked. Yeah. So I chose to paint a whale swimming in the sea, and it was blowing all these multicoloured spouts of water. Ooh. And then, yeah, nearby How old were they you? were. I was seven and I, I won the competition. Yeah I, was, yeah, I was over the moon. And there was also octopuses on the rocks and, you know, seagulls above. It was, it was great. That's amazing because um, in a former life, I used to uh, present Blue Peter. So, of course, we did lots of art competitions there. And I saw varying degrees, shall we say, of artistic talent from seven-year-olds, some which uh, ranged from, uh, from your level sort of all the way down. But, of course, at the end of the day, at that age enjoying it and getting a kind of a real buzz out of it is so important. I guess that's what happened to you, yeah? It is. I, just, I absolutely love animals. Um, they're a real passion of mine. I also donate to um, a wildlife haven at the moment. So one of my pictures, it's a, of a hedgehog called Looking Sharp. I give a portion of the funds to a local charity called the Wildlife Haven. Um, and when I was also younger, um, I would try and rescue animals so if i saw a bird injured on the side of the road i'd I'd rush to a rescue or even if it was you know snails i'd pick them up off the side of the road uh, on the pavement and then i'd put them on the side so they wouldn't get trampled oh that's a nice you didn't you didn't bring them (laughs) home did you i don't know if they're it's gonna say you didn't bring them home did your parents would be like oh she's come home what's she come home with now no, I'll leave it with the professional. <laughs> no. uh, it's good. And it, it's amazing um, what you're doing with this exhibition. Uh, each piece, I mean, as someone who actually can't even pick up a paintbrush, how long does it take you to paint a piece? Um, well, it varies. Um, sometimes it can take a few days and sometimes it can take a few weeks. It, it depends on how complex the, picture, the painting is. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it, it can vary, really. And how do you choose which yeah. wildlife you want to feature well, I focus mainly on British wildlife. I've mm-hmm. been brought up with um, British wildlife all my life. Um, my, I'm really close with my dad and my brother. And when I was younger, we'd always visit zoos and um, wildlife havens and farms and that sort of thing. So um, through my close proximity with them, I, I began to see the animals' individual traits and their characters it's interesting, isn't it, to be able to capture that in a piece of art, which is what you do so well. And I guess you kind of learned that over the years. What's been your kind of most challenging piece or most challenging animal to actually capture? Ooh, well, it, I think it was one recently, actually. Um, I, with my style, it's it's bold brushstrokes and lots of swirls and flicks and that sort of thing. Mm. And I was recently asked to paint a tortoise. Now, they don't... They don't have fur at all. So I was thinking to myself, would I be able to paint this? Yeah. Uh, so I, I thought to myself, you know, I might as well do it. I might as well see, you know, I want to do the challenge. Uh, it was a commission for a, a lady of her pet tortoise. Um, so I gave it a go and it actually turned out fantastic. Uh, the the customer was over the moon with it. And, um, yeah, you can see it on my website. It's uh, on my commission page. 
Fantastic. Yeah. I, I guess I guess the tortoise wasn't going to move around much, so it was no, it that was, is true. <laughs> it was an easy subject, whereas maybe other animals are are kind of harder to kind of keep around in one place. That's really interesting that that uh, mm. that they wanted that of of their own tortoise. And I guess actually thinking about it seriously, I don't know where I would start trying to kind of make a tortoise shell look realistic. Actually, um, yeah, and and again, it's all about the shading and, yeah. and you know bringing the color out. It was it was one of my favourite pieces actually because it was such a a different thing to do. Well, listen, uh, it's been fascinating talking to you. I love what you're doing. I love the fact that, I mean, I'm an animal lover as well. I love Mm. wildlife. So I I love the fact that you have been able to combine those two things together and bring those two passions together and just remind uh, people where they can see your exhibition and when it's on. Well, it's at the Rose Gallery. It's within the Bell Showroom. Um, It's located... Kingsthorpe Road in Northampton and it's on the 24th of March. I will actually be there from 11 till 3 so I'd, I'd love to meet you all um, there'll be refreshments there and I'd you know, I can talk you through all my artwork and, and how I developed it and that sort of thing so I'm really excited for it uh, it's something this scale that I've never done before so it, I'm quite nervous, but I'm really excited as well. Oh yeah, don't don't be nervous because it, it you know your work's amazing and uh, oh, you. it sounds like you're on you're on the sort of start of this journey. And uh, I wish you the best of luck uh, with this exhibition. And it's been a real pleasure talking to you today. Oh, thanks you too. No pl- no problem. See you later. Bye bye. Okay, bye. There we are, Amina Snowden, looking very much forward to that exhibition. And if you, like me, are an animal lover, you should definitely check that out.